Max, welcome back to my channel. This is J Max Week X. Today we're watching a video by June Plug that says, if Eminem was charged for his lyrics, shout out to Sizeman, let's see what happens. If Eminem was charged for the crimes in his lyrics. The crimes. <laughs> A battery fence that caused some type of serious bodily on the victim, like Eminem was describing, would be considered aggravated battery. He also said necks of rappers, meaning he was referring to multiple people. For crimes like this that are unspecified, I'll just go on the lowest end with the punishment. Damn. When someone threatens to kill or physically harm someone else and places victims in reasonable and sustained fear for their safety or the safety of their families, it is considered a criminal threat. <laughs> By Jack and Life's of MCs, I'll assume Eminem, the MCs he was referring to. Oof. Okay. Ooh. In this line, Eminem admitted to battery by stomping someone and also threatened to do the same to another person. <laughs> Why is this funny to me? Can we not? Damn. Bro, his lyrics are like a graphic ass novel. Okay. <laughs> Putting someone in an electric chair and electrocuting them is a form of. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like every song is super violent, bro. Why? This why I'm listening to. Intentionally causing permanent disability or disfigurement to another or causing the loss of an organ or limb is considered aggravated mayhem. Sir. Punishment for this crime can lead to a sentence of life in state prison with the possibility of parole. <laughs> Cause ain't nobody gonna do that shit for real. Blast the bartender to suck my dick in a tip cup. Intentionally exposing your private parts in public is considered indecent exposure. The first crime Eminem mentioned was slipping something in a girl's drink that led her to pass out. This would be considered an infliction of bodily harm, which has a sentence of up to three years in state prison. He then mentions having with the victim after Dr. Dre noted that she was only 15 years old. Uh. That makes this crime statutory, which carries a sentence of up to 15 years in prison in the state of Michigan, where Eminem is from. Yes, all of that, it means all. Wait, why? Ayo, doing them up. We take pills, drop out of school. People ain't drink, jump out in the wheel like it was still legal. I'm dumb enough to walk in a store and sell. You, you dumb enough too? Okay. This is why I don't listen to him now. Or this is why I didn't listen to him regularly as a kid. I probably couldn't. My parents probably censored it. But as an adult, I never cared to go back and listen to it because why is it so violent, bro? Like, why? Why? Bruh. Can we? What the fuck? 
Mother, I'm there. I love you. I never meant to go over the head with that shovel. A deadly weapon is any object capable of inflicting serious harm to another person, and a shovel could likely be considered one. Of course. Have y'all seen that video back in the day when them two girls was fighting and one of them just go get a shovel and throw it at the other one? <laughs> that shit sounded like it hurt. Carrying or using a fake ID is a misdemeanor, which could include up to one year in county jail as a possible punishment. <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> And this is who y'all be saying is like the best rapper on the planet. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? Team contains around twelve swimmers, so here I'll charge Eminem with twelve counts of fuckery. Too many mental problems got me fucked and weed again. The fuck is wrong with you? Escape from prison is a felony offense carrying up to three or six more years behind bars, depending on whether. Like, why are you telling these stories in your song? Since it's unknown if you use force or violence based on the lyric, I'll give him three years for each prison escape. Insane to me. Like, why are you telling these types of stories in your songs? I understand. Like, it's probably um, fiction. It's not. Hopefully, pieces of this are not like real. But still, like, what the fuck? And like I said, this is who a lot of people will argue and say is the best rapper alive. Like. Damn. He making some people I thought was dirty look like saying. Since he didn't mention hitting anyone, I'll call this crime negligent discharge of a firearm. <laughs> discharge of a firearm. I do do shrooms. Really? You can come to the funeral service library when you're fighting to confirm it. Double homicide. Whipping human, throw it blows, cracking jaws with my fist wrapping balls, dip the glue and clap. I'm not gonna burn your house down. I'm coming back to blow your house up. And I ain't gonna leave you with a window to jump out of. Okay. And with the sharpest I can grab, come back the next week and reopen it. Yeah. What the fuck? What? I walked into a fight with a dick. You so fast when you feel that it's still blue. But you know what? I'm like ghost out too, but this is annoying. The fuck is wrong with you? I'm saying it. I'm thinking it just to be saying it. Eminem described his own mother, which would add an his charge to. He also mentioned someone, so for that I'll just assume it to be a simple battery. The last crime he mentioned in that lyric was putting. <laughs> Jail. Jail. Like what? Why? Driving a motor vehicle in willful or wanton disregard for the safety of persons or property would give Eminem a reckless driving charge. Mm. 
I'm in the back seat of your truck with duct tape stretched out. Duck, way down, breaking the straight jump out. Put it over your mouth and grab you by the face. What now? Entering a locked automobile with the intent to commit a crime inside the vehicle is considered auto burglary. <laughs> a crime you committed after entering the vehicle will be considered a simple battery. I'll burn your house down, circle around, and hit the hydrant so you can't put your burning furniture out. Take drugs. My life's like kind of what my wife's like. What? Up after I beat her every night, Ike. Your wife repeatedly can be considered felony violence. My baby's mom made me an angry blonde, so I'm making a song to me put Haley on. I used to get pumped on my block till I kick his head off and stuck it in his kid's mailbox. Keep with nine and most rented doing the coke get him. I said, I'm on the line, man. And it was on the line, and I was the line. In this lyric, Eminem mentions supplying kids to children who then use it to a school, assuming that he knew what they were planning to do based on the line where he said, giving them the quote, ought to solve this problem of mine, and assuming that they ended up someone that they should. That would make Eminem an accessory to which typically faces the same charges and penalties as the principal offender. Hmm. And I don't I'm not you out. Drink into my tins full of splash whiskers. Since he didn't say injured any cops when looking at them, the crime of looking at them would be considered assault with a deadly weapon upon a public officer. Mike, what is going on? I saw some rain. Wow. In these lyrics, Eminem is talking to Kim after her husband and son. He's describing how he could cover up his involvement in the crime by making it seem as if she, her husband and son, then herself. He ends by killing her, so that means a total of three people in these lyrics. Grab a with the blade, get with the handle. Having someone with the handle of it likely wouldn't cause much damage, making this battery instead of aggravated batteries. <laughs> you believe that, and I'm you. You know why? Because I'm a criminal. Uh, okay. How you doing? Okay, I'll help you. Yeah, I need to make a withdrawal. Put in the bag. Thank you. In these lines, Eminem robs a bank and is the teller. This would make him guilty of federal bank robbery and Why? Because his mind operate like this. chickens from being harmed but it is still illegal to have with one of course because why would you do that that's it that's all i throw you on the couch doing the mouth with this fight to turn this mother out why this time bro i'm telling you what you do it again i'm and it's okay for you to say that shit and do that shit. 
Another wow. person's movement without legal authority, justification, or the restrained person's permission is considered false imprisonment. Christopher Reeves was paralyzed from the shoulders down, meaning he likely wouldn't be able to escape quicksand. For this reason, I think it would be reasonable to charge Eminem with attempted since he didn't state that Christopher Reeves died. Child is one of the few crimes that can be punished with a penalty in certain states and will give a life sentence in others. What? What? Why? So what? Why? You know? Face down in the tub, I drown you with piles of downers around you. Thick and lies of burners. The wise and thick lies of. Slim Shady is one of Eminem's alter egos, meaning it would still be him committing these crimes. Okay. Interesting. No, to a hockey mask and a boxing mask. So. Here Eminem calls himself within amidst the animal he bought one out of a cannon and states that it's being shot at a person, which would be battery the deadly weapon, since a cannon is a deadly weapon. He takes him for he's the forty suck the suppository of it and it made him tell me a story. Took your head off and that's where you had it off to. Women in the in my pin chunks. Evelyn, why are you trying to fight? You will never win. Legs on there goes another limb for the lever thing. Trap door, there's evidence. shoving people in an elevator and dropping them from the top floor that Eminem was planning to victims. <laughs> yeah. An icicle that is sharp enough to someone could be considered a deadly weapon. Then I Misha Martin with a tweezer. Shady, what are you doing shit on a human? Grab an aluminum bat, hide a clue in the back, boom. Put up my nostrils and bump my hope. Tie up to barbed wire. On the bonfire, and barbed wire, some 
Take this shit, boy, shit too. I'm destroying the board around and blow you to side. I sink my teeth in and fill them full of poison and make a noise like a snake before I. This come with the bag with each beam and then can I'm possessed by evil demons. So you f***ing wouldn't. I'm going to the next step and sounds like a f***ing whoopee cushion. But I swear you try to kiss me. Assume that the person Eminem was referring to based on the damage he described and the fact that he threw them in the ocean with sharks afterward. Wrapping a lizard in gauze and using it to hit someone would also be animal. <laughs> Is he mad? Because at this point, he can't be. The Challenger was a space shuttle that launched in 1986 with seven crew members aboard. All seven crew members ended up when the shuttle broke apart, and if Eminem was the one who caused this, he'd be charged with seven counts of along with the charge of destruction of government property, which holds a maximum sentence of 10 years and a fine of $250,000. Women gotta be terrified of this man because like everything is about- In this corner like Bird Shorter. If she ever tries to me the king, I'm a to the bed and set this house on. To know the show, I'm not the one from home. Back one break, what it's gonna take? It will just sweet for your someone's heart out would making this crime come be considered assault instead of battery because he doesn't say make contact just <laughs> <laughs> later in the song eminem says the girl he's referring to was still alive meaning this crime wasn't but i'd still call it attempted the fact that he her in concrete you Okay. The crime of f***ing someone is called f which is a form of mm. I'll assume that by her up and leaving her parts somewhere at the Eminem girl he was referring to. Like, it's actually making me sick at this point. Like, what the fuck? speed limit anywhere in the u.s is 85 miles per hour meaning that if i assume eminem was in the u.s he was speeding he also noted that he was following someone meaning he could be stalking them walk in the arraignment the bailiff karate kick the plane and kick. <laughs> still and jill's copied and send her out to the hotel lobby a little wobbly and still groggy You're gonna need such as the same size as the that push and took a picture when I put means head in Latin, so this line means pushing the into your head. 
Why? Urinate, like what I do before, after, and during. I slipped up in a jaw with a Louisville slugger. I put a tracking device on your Chrysler and follow you while you drive home. Way up. Does I blow any holes in you? This is about to be the outcome. All the damage Eminem is describing would likely result in. Jeffrey Dahmer was known for in dismembering his victims, so by Eminem saying he's shooting them up like Dahmer, I'll assume that he means his victims. Okay, sorry to any Eminem fans. I'm not a huge fan. I know like all of this is fiction. It's like figments is characteristic or it's like characterized by alter egos and stuff like that. But still, it's it's shoo, it's heavy. And I'm gonna have to go watch something super positive now because that just messed up my whole mindset. I don't understand how nobody can listen to that and then walk out into the world. If that's you, kudos to you. <laughs> I get that it might be joking. It might be story. It might be whatever. Not for me. He never was for me. So <laughs> that's my opinion on that. I don't know what y'all think about it. Let me know in the comments below. Keep it cool. I'm not trying to disrespect your favorite rapper or nothing like that. But damn, the thoughts in my mind, if I could really respond to this. But I'm going to keep it PC. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about it below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, peace. Oh.